Canva and whether it's worth the investment into Canva Pro or whether the free one has what you need. So I can certainly talk through the different options and the pros and cons and what they can do for, the, for your business. And then you can make an informed and educated choice. Um, obviously, I can't say for your specific business, yes, it is or no, it's not, because it's completely up to you where you want to spend your money. Uh, but hopefully this video will help you to understand why you might want to do those things and when and they're useful for you and your business. And then you can make a choice that you feel comfortable and educated to make. For those of you that don't know what Canva is, it's a design platform. It gives you the opportunity to create social media posts. It gives you all the templates, things like your, your headers, your banners, your events, um, toppers and things like that but it creates a space for you and some templates which makes it look really professional really quickly so it's a great system if you haven't used it before you can create all sorts of interesting and fantastic stuff um, personally my opinion the free version of canva is really really good it gives you a lot uh, a lot of free templates some free images um, all sorts of, of, of things. So I can certainly share the difference. Let me share you my screen and share the difference between Canva and Canva Pro. Um, so 8,000 free templates and hundreds of, of free images. There's certainly a lot on offer in the free option. What I've noticed recently is that uh, there's more features and things going into the Pro options. So I feel like Canva is certainly kind of more putting more options into the pro feature and that's kind of the way that they're going but that doesn't mean that the free one isn't great so the biggest thing from one of the biggest things for me about camera pro is their brand kit um, so on the free one every time that you want to use your brand colors um, you have to put them in yourself and you can't use uh, your own logo your own um, fonts for example camera has a huge range of fonts but you can't use your own fonts. So that is a little bit, you have to pick something that's similar. Um, and every time you want to use your, your particular colors, you have to put in the actual number for the colors, which is a bit clunky. Um, and the other thing I think, so the brand kit is one thing, um, the templates and the stock images on the pro are absolute, I don't think you'd ever need to use anything else on the pro, because the pro just has so much in it. However, for me, um, it depends on where you're at in your business. I personally am still using Canva free because for me, what it offers is enough for what I need. I can look at the pro design templates and then almost take, take some inspiration from that, but create it myself um, on the free one. I can use, there's enough images in there and out there in terms of the free images that I can use for what the level that I want to use it for. So I think the biggest thing in your decision here is where are you at in your business and how much of this stuff are you actually going to need and actually going to use? And I think that is the difference between whether the free one would be exactly what you need or whether the pro one would be worth the investment. I think if your decision, if you have a limited budget and your decision is should I get an email autoresponder system or should I invest in Canva Pro? Personally, my choice would be an email autoresponder system. I use that so much more um, than I do the Canva stuff. But I think if you're at the point in your business that you really want to grow and you really want to, to um, expand in terms of your marketing efforts, then Canva Pro is a good investment because I think then you you can pick images that aren't necessarily sort of similar images that um, other people are using. You can create some, some different templates that other people may not have seen. Um, and you can certainly start using your own fonts. And if you your brand is something in particularly different, um, there are ways around that in the free option, but I just think if you're ready to really kind of push your marketing and really kind of get out there, then Canva Pro is a really good investment. Um, so I hope that's helped you in terms of making your decisions about where you're going to spend your money and what you're going to invest in. If you're signed up to the AMA, please do keep your questions coming. It's always great to see them and do a video to help you to get into the online world and explore online technology and build a brilliant business.